Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into one of the most powerful personal finance books of all time, Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. If you've ever wondered how the rich make their money work for them, or how you can start investing and building wealth, you're in the right place. Whether you're new to investing or looking to level up your financial game, the lessons from this book will give you the mindset and strategies you need. So, let's get into it. One of the first and most important lessons from Rich Dad Poor Dad is the need for financial education. Rich Dad told Robert, the rich don't work for money, they make money work for them. What does that mean? It's about understanding the difference between assets and liabilities. Assets are things that put money in your pocket, like stocks, real estate, and businesses. Liabilities, on the other hand, take money out of your pocket, like car payments, credit card debt, or even your home mortgage if it's not making you money. Start by educating yourself about different types of assets. Read books on investing, watch educational videos, and follow financial news. Understand how things like stocks, real estate, and businesses generate income. Knowledge is your first asset. One of the main reasons people don't invest is the fear of losing money. Poor dad, Robert's biological father, had this fear, but rich dad embraced risk, saying, failure inspires winners, but failure defeats losers. Here's the reality. If you never take any risks, you'll never see any returns. The rich understand that mistakes are a part of the learning process. It's about minimizing risks through education and managing your investments wisely. Start small. Don't wait until you have thousands of dollars to invest. Even small investments in the stock market or a side business can teach you valuable lessons without too much risk. Rich Dad's most famous lesson is this. Buy assets, not liabilities. Most people, when they start earning more money, they buy bigger homes or expensive cars, thinking they're building wealth. But those are liabilities. They don't generate income, they just cost money. The rich focus on buying assets, investments like rental properties, stocks, or even small businesses that bring money into their pocket month after month. Start investing in things that can grow your wealth. If you're new to investing, Try apps like Robinhood or Wealthfront, which let you buy stocks with as little as $5. If you're interested in real estate, you don't need to buy a whole house. There are platforms where you can invest in real estate with small amounts. Another key lesson from Rich Dad is the idea of passive income. This is money you earn with little to no effort after the initial investment. Think of rental properties, dividend paying stocks, or royalties from a book or an online course. Most people rely on active income, income from their job, but passive income allows you to earn money while you sleep. This is the secret to financial freedom. Create passive income streams. You can do this by investing in dividend-paying stocks, starting an online business, or buying rental properties. The goal is to have money coming in even when you're not actively working. Rich Dad also teaches the importance of starting early. He says, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you keep. One of the most powerful tools for growing wealth is compounding. When you invest, the returns you earn start generating returns of their own. Over time, this creates exponential growth. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. That's why even small investments now can turn into large sums later. If you're not investing yet, start now, no matter how small the amount. Even $50 a month in an index fund or savings account can grow into thousands over time thanks to compounding. Another major lesson from Rich Dad is understanding the difference between good debt and bad debt. Poor Dad believed that all debt is bad, but Rich Dad taught Robert that good debt can actually help you get rich. Good debt is when you borrow money to invest in assets that generate income. For example, taking out a loan to buy a rental property where the rent covers the mortgage payments. Bad debt, on the other hand, is used to buy liabilities, like using a credit card to buy things that don't generate any income. If you're going to take on debt, make sure it's for something that will make you money. For example, if you can, take out a loan to invest in real estate or a business 
rather than using debt to buy things that lose value. Rich Dad taught Robert that the rich build and own businesses, while the poor work for businesses. When you own a business, you have control over your income and you can scale it over time. Even if you have a full-time job, you can start a side business, whether it's an online store, a consulting business, or investing in someone else's business. Ownership gives you more control over your financial future. If you've ever thought about starting a business, now's the time. Start small, maybe with an online business or a side hustle. The goal is to own something that can grow. These are just a few of the powerful lessons from Rich Dad, Poor Dad that can help you invest and make money. Remember, it's not just about working hard, it's about working smart. Educate yourself, take action, and start investing in assets that will grow your wealth over time. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more financial tips, and leave a comment if you're ready to start investing or have questions about any of the lessons we covered today.